Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef of Korea. Today's video, I'm going to dedicate it to the sarcophyte and corals. In other words, to stow corals. It's a new acquisition that I got from Worldwide Corals. It's a brownish, a light brown type of coral. It's up here, and right below, of course, you have the Japanese tooth stole, which is very, very rare. So I'm going to talk about basically what I usually do, the specifications, placement, on and on. So I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so here we are looking at the actual coral. Um, this is what I found out when it comes to the sarcophyte corals. In other words, tooth stole coral. First of all, they are soft, um, soft coral in which uh, has a mushroom appearance on the top. If you notice all these and you uh, go into other videos, you're going to notice it's actually, it's got like a stalk and then like a mushroom on the top. Now, uh, they tend to have a stem or stalk, shall we call it, and on the top what's called the capitulum, which is the actual top of the coral. Now, the capitulum has polyps, oftentimes being long and slender and wavy back and forth. In currents, knowing that some have long or large polyps, as others have short ones. Now, when it comes to coloration, tooth stoles are most commonly cream to light brown, like this one, but may also be green, like the Japanese tooth stole, which I have it a little further down, pinkish or yellow, like the Fiji uh, yellow leathers. There may be a period when they stay retracted for several days when first introduced to an aquarium, and that always happens. I've had the experience that when it comes to the tooth stoles, uh, when they change environment, when they go from one aquarium to the other, this will actually occur. But once a specimen has settled in, you should observe what they call polyping out reaction to the aquarium lights when being turned on in the morning. Now, tooth stoles can also produce a waxy coating that usually covers most of the coral, but is especially thick on the capitulum, in other words, the uh, top. This is a normal behavior, though, and the coating is generally thought to be a mechanism to remove any unwanted detritus. Now afterwards, when this coat becomes loose and, re and, and is removed by water current, the polyps will again protrude once again, in which the coral will tend to swell and become larger in size. Now these type of corals are known to be easy to keep and get to impressive sizes with time as they shed and shed that waxy coat. In other words, like I was saying briefly, they start to um, swell. So every time, I'd say within a month, like I mentioned, and you get that coating, uh, that waxy coating, when that film comes off, usually you're going to notice that the coral has actually swollen, has actually grown. Now, the top, or in other words, the mushroom tentacles can look like a carpet, and clownfish may host it like if it was an anemone. They tend to be hardy to keep, but the sarcophyton elegans, which is, in other words, the feature yellow, are a bit more delicate to keep due to bruising leading to a black coloration and infection. And that's what actually happened to the one that I actually had. Uh, I went ahead and I bought it. It cost me a substantial amount of money and it, it, uh, it wouldn't uh, shed. And I, I called um, where I got it and they said, hmm, that's odd, but sometimes these leather coils will take a little bit to shed, but it, it actually never did. I moved it around and nothing. And sure enough, it started to discolor, get black, infected, and I had to throw it away. Now, the final section, uh, the care requirements. Well, when it comes to lighting, sarcophyton corals don't require high lighting, but can be acclimated to higher light par values. Yet, some do require a higher par to achieve more brighter colorations. And then when it comes to water flow, I'd say between moderate and high in order to remove that waxy layer that forms around once a month. 
And then finally feeding. Feeding is not needed in which they get nourishment from the microfauna found in the water column. But if you, uh, if you desire to uh, feed them, which I usually do, and, oh, and besides on this topic, I've gone down on my nutrient levels, on my feeding. I do feed the uh, phytoplankton, which is what they thrive on. And of course, when it comes to me, what I, uh, how do I address this is I either uh, feed phytofees once a week and rephroids once a week, which are the, the thin, thin uh, powdery foods. And, in other, and the, the phytofees is a liquid, but they're very, uh, very thin. And then those little tentacles that they have will actually capture it. And as this core is easy to keep, it can be considered for a beginner reefer as well as more advanced reefers. Now, this is the end of the topic when it comes to sarcophyton. But now I'm going to move the camera down. I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to show you the little Duncan that I actually got. So hold on. And there's a shot of the Duncan coral. It's one head. I had this coral on my uh, Aquastown 9. And my lord, man, I, 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 think I, I think I had two heads. And it started to grow and grow and grow. And it, it uh, you know, it, it becomes like a, a ball of all the different heads that you have when it comes to Duncan corals. So this is, uh, it's almost fully extended. It's acclimating and I got it last Saturday. Today is uh, Tuesday. So it's acclimating. I did dip them. You really should dip all your corals. And so it's in the process of uh, acclimation. Uh, uh, as of today, it's opening quite a lot. Uh, the previous couple of days, it, it would close and open and close and open. It's just, you know, getting um, acclimated to my water parameters. So I thought I'd show you that. And of course, in the future, I'll do a video on Duncan corals. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video on the sarcophyton corals. In other words, tutstool corals. If you, if you liked it and found it educational and fun, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you hit that little bell, that's the notification bell, you'll be the first ones to note that Eddie's Reef Aquaria uploaded a video, which is usually weekly. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing, Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.